What's up? What's up, fella? What up, Adam? What up? So now we're playing Adam, and this one's called Unexpected. It's called Powered, actually. Powered. His producer name is Unexpected. Yo, your melodies are always fire, man. I want to put trap. I just want to be put trap. Bro. Yeah, it's pretty good. I really like your melodies, man. That's why I wanted to. That's why we're gonna collab on the other one on Thursday because just how you make them. It sounds like you want to do like a pop thing. You said as like pop EDM ish. I'm getting this vibe, man, and I'm feeling like you know it. You could really make some real dope trap beats. Maybe you should also collab with other people because they could just turn it around and flip that stuff and make it like a hit for a placement or or just for something else. All right, so these are the notes that I, that I found. Um, I took some notes. I'm about to just start doing this. It makes it easier. Um, I said, make sure the snare rolls. So I was noticing those snare rolls. The first beginning of it is off a little bit. One of them just like they're off tempo with the, with the beat. Um, you had a long stop in the beginning and it didn't stop on time. I feel like it took a little bit too long to, to, to drop back into the beat. And then the bass where you're like, mm, and then you stop real abrupt, and then, mm, mm, and then the other part is, mm, and you stop abrupt again. I would probably connect those and be like, mm, mm, mm. and then right after that, you actually did connect them when you put the rest of the other melodies and stuff in um, as you were building back up, I believe. This is by Philip, and this is called EDM Drill.
pretty good um i really liked it i really like your melodies 100 percent. like the vibe of the melodies is awesome so what i'm noticing is the interface is hitting red sometimes it's not all the time most of the time it isn't but sometimes it's like when the melody comes with it so i don't know if the melody is maybe a note or something that you have playing is super loud and that's making it hit red because it's not red forever so i would go back in the mix and just make sure that you're seeing and checking and be like, is it clipping at a certain po point? Because I feel like it's when the melody is playing in um, with something. So I would definitely go and check that. Um, so this is Ramon. This is called Underwater. <laughs>
Yeah, man, that's really good. Um, I like the, and by the way, thank you, Jay Sherp. I appreciate that. I like the um, Ramon. I like the snare type rim that you were using. You know the rim they put like to when the beat go da da da, and the rim go pop, and it makes the beat kind of jump. So he was like dun, 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 dun. Mm, it gives the beat a bounce and i think that was the most thing that was catching me uh my attention was that um that rip that snare rim type perk also ramon um i was checking good job everybody listen to this it did a good ramon did a great job because i was looking at the interface this is to show you that y'all could do this too i'm looking at the interface and it never hit red it never clipped. Everything was still sounding loud and good, but it wasn't clipping. So I checked the entire time. So that's all I got. The beat sounds really good. Um, and it didn't clip. That was a that was a good beat right there. This is Starstruck by Ethan. What up, Moon GT? Oh, I like how you came in this already. Sound like P PMP Rock or somebody. I don't know. Bass, that 808 bass you used was super clean, man. Good job, man. Yeah, that was really good. Everything sounds good. The bass sounds good. The bass is on key with the melody. Amazing. Matter of, and also my next video I'm about to do, I'm about to uh, do a tutorial because one of my followers is asking me, how do you make your 808s go with the melody on key? You did it right there, man. Good job. When, in the beginning, you know when the beginning is, it goes like this? Hold on. You know, in the beginning it goes. So that part right there where it's like sliding up, like rising, and I can tell you we're doing that. Um, it's it's all it's all red. I see it. Until the when the beat drops, it stops clipping. But when you're rising it up, as soon as I press play, it's in red. So the rise up part, so lo lower it down because it's all it's clipping like crazy. So now look, when I when I restart it, it's gonna be red. You see what I'm saying? The whole way up there. Only the beginning part. The rest is good. All right. So then now we got plug three X. So this is oops. <laughs>
It's cool. Um, there are some people saying maybe throw a counter melody in there or throw down the piano down an octave to add some variation. Someone else said nice beat, but I would change the piano up a bit. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe try and add some of that stuff, but that's good feedback. I would say it's pretty good. Now, um, I like the beginning. It sounds like a voyage type thing, like you're on a voyage, like a noble voyage back you're sailing at sea or something. Do, 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 do. That's pretty dope. That could be used for television. But then how you dropped it to trap, I was thinking Gunna, the way you did those, the way you did the pattern and your perks and everything to make your, your drum patterns. Uh, it sounded like Gunna, I was saying. Um, the problem is, because I remember telling you about this, your beat, is good, but it's always in the red. And I thought in the beginning, I'm like, oh, you know, because when you're playing that little, duh, 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 you even did it again later in the interim for the beat. It was like, duh, 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 and it went down to green. I'm like, okay, maybe. But then as soon as the beat dropped again, it was red the entire time of this beat. It's just been red. So you have to lower the beat. It sounds great to people in their ear. It sounds, it may sound magnificent. That's good. But if you're in it with an engineer, it's not, that doesn't sound good. And matter of fact, if a rapper uses it, it sounds all great, but that's the stuff that can blow someone's speakers or a real professional person would be like, that's too loud. So this is produced by Rudd and this beat is called 47. <laughs> So that's dope, bro. Um, here's what I recommend for you. I got a lot for you. That was really good. I recommend your melodies. They may need some reverb because the reverb is like, what's up, Eric? I saw you in there. What's up, man? The reverb, I feel like it may need, because it's like a little dry. The melody sounds like too like, ro not robotic. That's fine if you want to be like that. Maybe you do. But the melodies, the the notes, you're, the sound you're using, it's fine if you put reverb, but they sound too like stiff, like like you know dryish so try to put some reverb make it wet and airy i like the nice little uh, reverse 808 the other thing is your clap is too low i like i can hear it's just way too low now good thing is your beat didn't clip at all yeah so definitely turn up the clap that's important i would say and make your melodies maybe put some reverb on them or change the sound this is boo and this is called drill hi-hat <laughs> Oh,
like the 808 slides, how you made them high slides, but you also made lower ones, so it was like, boom, it went like low. I recommend, though, you got to change, you got to, this is what I recommend. I recommend putting some other melodies in there, some other counter melodies, because it's really repetitive. It's the same thing the whole way through. So it's your friend. Okay, so this is Eric. It's my uh, one of my one of my brothers, brother from another mother. But uh, yeah, this is his friend. Uh, this one's called Timeless. <laughs> Got a few things for you tell your friend in the beginning the crash or the symbol that he used that goes to like impact that it's a big drop that's too loud it's everything else the whole beat long it's not clipping but when that crash comes in it's way too loud so as soon as the crash comes in it hits red as soon as the crash is done it goes all back to normal so everything is good except for that crash every time you did it in the beat actually i saw it as soon as the crash came it hit red and then it went away so it's the crash that's making that uh, making it too loud. Uh, so lower the crash. I like the reverse at the end of the beat, where it's like woo, 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 at the end. I really like that. That really catch my attention too. It sounds pretty good, man. Yeah, tell him I said good job. Those are the notes that I have for him, definitely. And I'll see y'all next week. Thank you for tuning in.